When it comes to ARK, becoming alpha always comes to mind on a PvP server. So we proudly present Top 5 Tips to Dominating a PvP Server on ARK. Before this video gets started, I just wanted to say that this video is sponsored by G-Portal. Use our link down below, and our server's OC are also hosted by G-Portal, so go check it out. Our server's OC launched Friday, June 4th at 5pm Eastern Time. OC has 10x rates with an official grind with no pay to win. We currently have 1800 members and many of your favorite YouTubers playing at launch. Discord link in description. Today, we will be teaching you how to strive on PvP servers, and how to lead your way from a nobody to one of the most respected tribes on ARK. Let's get right into the video. Coming at number 5, we have Making Verbal Allies. Making allies on ARK used to be a big role in surviving on PvP servers. Sadly, over time, players became more toxic and alliances began to fade away. However, as time passed, many players began wondering if there was a different kind of alliance, and soon rose the Verbal Alliance. The Verbal Alliance is basically a trusted alliance, kind of like saying, hey man, let's not raid each other. But doing this still allows for your turrets to shoot the opposing tribe, unlike a normal alliance where they can literally walk right up to your base. Overall, doing this can easily lead to a longer survival rate on PvP servers, especially official base servers. While you build up over time, it's always good to keep these alliances, but never let them tell you what to do. Always make sure your tribe is able to defend against them, because after all, this is ARK. Coming at number 4, we have Making Plans. Making plans, whether it be for farming or for a raiding strategy, it's always mandatory to create a solid plan. Planning can also motivate your tribe to want to keep playing and creating an immersive online time for your members. For a tribe to survive and conquer a server, you will need to get a lot of work done very quickly. Making plans allows for this to happen especially when working with a full tribe of players. I'd recommend planning at least two days in advance depending on the type of server that you are on. For official, around two days, but for unofficial, depending on the situation, a few hours will do. After all, you don't want to show up to help your tribe members farm and forget the farming dinos. That just wouldn't be good. Especially if you show up to a raid and forgot the fob or even the soakers. There's a lot of things that could go wrong without a plan, so make sure you do this on your server. Coming at number 3, we have Overtake a hard to raid location. Overtaking a location or taking over a location before anyone else can be a life-saving option. After all, Base locations are one of the most important aspects of ARK. Right as the server wipes or starts up, kinda like our server OC, you always want to be sure to flood that base location you want and gruesomely murder any players in the vicinity of the area. Yes, Bear Cave can sometimes be worth it that much. Once you get to that location, spam a tremendous amount of foundations, even wood or stone ones which will force players to have to get explosives to even damage them. Now let's say a tribe already took that location you wanted. If they have thatch foundations down, hop on discord and get your buddies and infiltrate the location. Chances are, you'll take it, but if there's anything else down like wood or stone, it's time to cry and move on into a new location for now. After all, there's always rat holes. Coming at number 2, we have an organized tribe. An organized tribe is a major key to success in dominating a server. I've seen so many tribes on ARK that weren't organized, and in no surprise, they didn't last long. Now you may be asking, what do you mean by an organized tribe? 
What I mean is does your tribe have something to do today or the next day? Do they have an organized base with flak in one vault and weapons in another? Mainly, things like that is which define an organized tribe. This may sound weird, but the bigger the tribe, the more organized you need to be. If you have a tribe of 3-6 to six players, yeah you need to be organized, but you won't have to put that much work into organizing things like with a 25 man tribe. Like I said earlier, I've been in the same situation and having an unorganized tribe with 25 plus people can be really terrifying. There's really nothing to do which will indefinitely lead to an inside or a mass amount of players who quit. Coming at number one, we have to create a compact layered base. Creating a compact base is by far the most important aspect to striving on ARC. As you may have seen with our channel, one of our biggest things we do is base designing. Having a random base you throw together is asking to be raided. Having things like exposed generators is one of the biggest scares for survival. I've seen a lot of stuff like this done be done before on many unofficial servers and especially console servers. Bases are just thrown together with no use and very little efficiency for farming. A huge way to overcome this issue is to have a dedicated builder in your tribe. By doing this, your builder or builders will always have something to do. Simple as this, you farm and your builder builds. The best thing I recommend is if a turret tower or base upgrade costs a lot of materials, don't go cheap on it. Actually do it as for the most part, that might save you in a defense. And please, don't forget to craft turret ammo for your turrets. This is the biggest issue I see in almost every single tribe I've played in. I recommend about a minimum amount of about 1500 to 2000 turret ammo per turret. But anyways, that is gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and also, what do you guys think of this new mic? Just bought a new mic since the last one has been having a lot of issues and a lot of background noise that I just could not edit out. So I went ahead and bought a brand new mic. So please let me know down below what you guys think about it. And anyways, go check out our server's OC, which from the, the date that the server goes up, will launch in about a week, which is going to be crazy. We already have 1,800 members, which is insane. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like if you're new and hit that subscribe button and peace out.